We are back once again doing some TikTok hacks. So let's get into it. The first TikTok hack we have, which is very fitting for winter and Christmas time, is frosted windows. Basically, it's just a clear basic shape with the decal on it. It looks pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna make a wall here. Is it just me? Anytime during the year that it's not Christmas, I'll have so many things I want. And then when Christmas comes around the corner and my parents are like, so what do you want for Christmas? I'm just like, uh, that's a great question. I, I don't know. When people actually want an answer, I can't give it to them. But when they don't want an answer and when they're not asking, that's when I have an answer. Double sided decal just because it's gonna be shown on both sides. But I am so excited for the Bloxburg Christmas update. I think it's gonna come soon. I mean, the day I'm recording this is the day before Thanksgiving. If all goes according to plan, it'll be posted on the 26th, which is Sunday. And usually people put updates out right after Thanksgiving. They didn't actually say the code in this video, but someone responded to someone's comment and said these were the codes. So we're gonna try these and we're gonna hope they're telling the truth. Uh, okay, that's definitely not... So we just got baited a bit. They gave two codes and one was some girl from an anime and the other one was the actual frozen one. So I'm gonna just delete this one. And then all I got to do is put it in the window. Okay, I actually like this one a lot. It's a very simple touch that elevates your house. So, and it was so easy. All I did is a basic shape and a decal. Quick video interruption. I just dropped a brand new UGC hair with a matching bow. So you can mix and match the bows and the hairs to match your outfits. Link in the description. This is the bed hack I used in my dream house video. It's literally so easy to build. It's literally just a bunch of basic shapes with transform tool. So first off, we need to start off with the base. Also, if you guys have not seen the Hunger Games movie, go watch it right now. It was so good. I do not like President Snow, but man, they made him so good looking in the movie. He got me blushing a little bit. So I need to make sure this is going to be the right size for the bed. Okay, yeah, that works. When I built it in my dream house video, I didn't actually put a bed, which I probably should have. So it's literally just a decorative bed, but I also don't role play, so it doesn't matter. But if you are someone that role plays, just make sure it fits the size of an actual bed. And then to make it super precise when putting it on the sides, because when I place it on the side like this, it hangs off. Just use the transform tool and then you can adjust it so it's perfectly flush with the build. Before I copy paste the other ones, I'm gonna just adjust the height. And now let's copy paste those. But yeah, my hyper fixation on the Hunger Games is slowly dwindling back after watching that movie. I wanna watch it for a second time because it was just, it was so good. I didn't even watch the Hunger Games series when it first came out. I was into Twilight at the time. So then I ended up watching it after all the four movies came out, which was pretty good on my part because then I didn't have to wait and be like stuck with the anticipation like oh no when's the next movie gonna come out so that was good that was good on my part they announced this movie in 2022 or 2021 it was a year or two ago and i was just i remember last year being in theaters i was watching another movie and i saw the trailer and i was like oh my god that's so far away it's in a year from now and now it's literally the year that i've been waiting for it which is crazy time is going by so fast this part is thinner than the rest of the structural so now i copy it to the other side and rotate it but yeah some reason i love book to movie adaptations they're so good twilight hunger games summer i turned pretty team conrad for life sorry to any team jeremiah stands out there this is probably the only tricky part of the build right here so first off i have to make a triangle right here so i'm gonna take this rotate it oh my god shrink it so it's half the size and this part it doesn't matter if it's 100 even or in the middle we're gonna hope i did this symmetrically i don't think it is fully but it's okay as long as you can't tell also we need to talk about the black friday sales first First of all, none of the sales are even good. I'm used to Black Friday sales being like 80% off the entire store, 80% off this. Stores are lacking this year. Like, where are the sales? Why are you cheaping out? Voila, look at that. I always go online to check deals just because, I don't know, when I go in person shopping, there's really nothing special. It's just the local stores and they don't really have the specific niche interests that I'm into, which is, I mean, I'm into a lot of fashion stuff, so they don't really have any sales that are anything interesting to me. They're kind of just like 50% off a microwave, but what am I gonna do with the microwave? I want clothes, I want shoes, I want, jewelry i want accessories you know i want tech stuff where's the robux black friday sale like be for real roblox what what are you doing so i just stick to online but online is lacking too if it's not perfectly equal it's fine you're literally not gonna notice what i did for this side was i just scaled it so it went to the right length because it was like this and i just fixed it by going like that and then this goes in the middle now we're gonna do the really tedious part which is the railing of this part so i just gotta copy paste a million of these after that she puts a railing on the top of it and a bed and some pillows I'm just gonna take the railing from what I was using as the top part 
Also, question for you guys. Do you like when I tell random stories when I'm doing build hack videos? Because I know this isn't technically a commentary video where I'm supposed to be chatting it up. Let me know if you still like that anyway. And then she adds a bed like this. I do it a little differently, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do. I take a beveled cube, and then I make my own makeshift mattress, and then I stack it twice. So this way I can do a layered mattress. So then one layer has like white pattern. I love this pattern. I don't know. I'm obsessed with it. So then I do that pattern, and then I do the wicker pattern, and then I add pillows and random stuff. This is what it would look like if you did it with just no bed and then pillows But technically you could do it with the bed too But I just like doing it this way and then obviously if you wanted to elevate it a little bit more I like to add fairy lights. It's so nice It's so perfect for a kid's bedroom, you know, if you want something different in your room for role-playing and stuff I mean, it's not hard. It's just a little tedious. This the next one is a Christmas light tree hack It's basically making Christmas trees that we get during the update, but it's just bigger So let's try that so they use a carpet and a pillar right in the middle All we do is just draw lights coming down from it. So it's just like this. And you just put it all around the pillar. I'm using medium grid just for reference. Boom. I just thought of this off the spot, but if you want to make it look more like a Christmas tree, just add a star pillow on the top and boom. Now you have a cute little lawn Christmas tree. And this was so easy to do. Literally took me 10 seconds. It's perfect for outside inside because you can adjust the height based on the height of your pillar. So I'm going to make a small one next to it. And then you can also just shrink the star pillow so it matches more too. That was so easy and it looks so cute. And you could do multiple sizes. I really like this build hack. Perfect for Christmas or winter or anything. This one is a food stand display case. In my new build, we have this kitchen space and I want to add more to it. So we're going to do it in here. So let's move these ghost cookies. So first off, you're going to need something out. So I'm going to use the heart macaroons and then we take a cake stand. So I'll just put this here and then I'm going to put this on the cake stand. Oh, you can color these. How did I not know that? And then we take a basic shape, a clear vertical cylinder. I think they use the semi-transparent one and then you just resize it over. Then we take Take a placemat, put it right over it. I'm gonna color it the same as the bottom tray. We just take another circular basic shape for the top as the top of the lid sort of thing. Wait, this is so perfect. If you have a cafe or a bakery build, like this is so perfect because you can copy paste it too. It's so easy to change out. Like all you gotta do is this and you can color it to match. So super cute, super easy. This one is a snowy tree build hack since we don't have the update yet. First off, we place a shape on the floor and then I'm gonna take two trees. They use the pine tree which is you know fitting for winter obviously and then we take this basic shape and slide it underneath one of the trees and then we just place the other one on top of it and then you could take this away and boom snowy tree that was really really easy that took me five seconds to do so it's inexpensive and it's not time consuming this one is a custom chair i believe it's just a chair with some structural she uses the contemporary dining chair she takes a vertical plank and we just go like this all the way around you do have to use small grid for this just because you want to be precise around the edges i'm trying to be as precise as possible when doing this and then we just color it i would color it the same texture as your cushion boom that was easy inexpensive and it looks nice and it is in fact copy pasteable i'm not sure if this is considered a build hack but if you want to make your kids bedroom look more kids bedroomy these are some squishmallow decal codes you can add to your build all the tiktoks will be linked in the description so if you want the decal codes shown in this video or just any video that i've done check the description if you're unfamiliar of how to do this basically what you do is just take a transparent cube and then resize it super tiny so this way you can put the decal on it and anything you're doing make sure you use the two-sided decal it'll just look way better so I'm gonna make this the smallest size possible and let me just resize this up I'm gonna angle it like that so here's what it looks like when you put in the decal code I did the penguin one because the colors match the color scheme in this room it's just so cute I had to add it in the video so here we have a custom teapot and it's just a bunch of materials resized and put together the first thing we do is we take three basic shapes and we just put them on the table and resize them to the smallest amount they can be I'm just gonna copy and paste that twice and then we're taking two different different vases in a teacup. You have to place it on top of the basic shape. We resize only this vase like that. I place this on top of here and I resize it with small grid. Probably best that you make sure the cube part doesn't show. And then with the transform tool, we just flip it upside down and then turn it this way because this is going to be the handle turn it a bit and now i'm just gonna color it all the same pattern and now we have a teapot the way i did it was i didn't resize this shape down at first but you can i just forgot to so it'll go on the table but i just used this plate to cover it up but it was easy a lot of small grid stuff this next one is a coat on a rack hack and it's looking like structural and some decorative items it doesn't look hard at all first thing you use is a vertical plank and then he stretches it a little bit and then next we take the hook rack just gonna color this super quick 
Then after that, we just take the hanging towels and then just gonna put them on the rack. And something cool about this that I didn't know you could do is you can resize the towels so it'll just look like a bunch of variations. This is so perfect for an entryway if you don't know what to put. This one doesn't really involve any transform tools, so it's a lot easier. So it's a good hack. I like this one. This is a Ikea vanity shelf. These are really popular. I've seen these on TikTok a lot. So first we take a cube, and then she takes another cube, stacks it on top, resizes it, and then makes it super tall. And then she just moves it back. And then once she does that, all we basically do is take another cube. Oh wait, I'm gonna just take this off for a second so it's easier to copy. So I just copied a bunch of cubes there. And then I'm gonna take the cubes that I just copied and place it right on top. And I'm just gonna stack them how she had. And yeah, that's really all it is. It's super easy to do. It's perfect for filling up space. I think I'm gonna use this in my build because that did not take long. You can decorate it so you can put snow globes and pictures so it'll feel like another storage unit. Now we have another Christmas build hack, which is a custom snowman. It's looking like basic shapes and just a bunch of transform tool stuff. She takes a bush. I'm gonna paint it the texture of snow. Then she takes a basic shape and we're just gonna put it right in the middle and then resize it so it's super duper small and raise it up like that. We just make it so it's sticking up a little on the bush and then we put another one on top. And then since we don't want this weird little pillar showing, we're just gonna resize this bottom one so it covers. And we're just gonna repeat what we did to make another layer of the snowman. So just resizing again the basic shape. Since this is the head, we gotta make it the smallest. Okay, and now we make a hat to accessorize the snowman. For this, she takes a beveled vertical cylinder to make it that size and we just copy it on top to put the hat on it just transform tool once again all the way up to the top and i guess if you wanted to make it a little cuter you could just take structural i'm gonna try to make some eyes or something i want to add a bow so i'm gonna take a vertical plank i'm gonna shrink it and then we're gonna stick this bow on it i'll just use the transform tool once again we have a snowman with a cute little bow tie and face and you could add buttons and stuff like that but this is the base model we can say and it's really cute you can put it outside your house and because you have these customizable items on it you can match it to the color scheme your house too. So here we have a custom iMac screen. First we need the iMac or the iSlim computer. We take a structural, just put it across the screen and resize it down. This is so it has the thicker bottom part like the actual Apple computer. And then we take a vertical plank. I'm gonna make it super small so you can't see it. We're gonna take a decal. Let me just put the code in really quick. Now I need to resize this, transform tool it, and put it onto the laptop. I think the annoying part is just trying to make sure it's angled the proper amount of degrees just like the computer is. And now we just resize it and boom now you have a custom iMac computer I guess for role-playing this would be pretty good or just for decorating a house the black screen of a laptop can really set off the color scheme so it's just a cute little addition I hope you guys enjoyed some more TikTok hacks and also if you see any build hacks on TikTok that you want me to do just tag me in the comments and I'll try to find it as always if you want more of these videos just let me know in the description and let me know what your favorite build hack was anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you all next week you know you love me XO, XO. French Rose's girl.